All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. I finally switched my T-shirt. Uh, yes, three three red shirts in a row. Well, the first red shirt was actually the one that has the Monopoly sign on it. So yeah, what I did was I make sure that I placed the shirt I was gonna wear for the video today on the rack. So because I usually just don't have my shirt on, you know, I I, I like going around shirtless. And that's like, oh yeah, making my video. And obviously, I'm not gonna be doing a video shirtless. I'm I'm not uh, sticks and hammer. <laughs> and even then, I think recently he started wearing like shirts and stuff. Anyway. So uh, let's see. All right. So I didn't even bother doing any of the research. Uh, it's ten thirty-seven. Uh, yeah, I found myself still playing Albion for the. Um... Oh, that's a good one. That's a good end. Just for the, because I just like my, I just like money making money, and I like that in Albion. I mean, it doesn't require much, but I could just stop at any time now that my premiums run out. But uh, yeah, um, I don't know. I'm just chilling, trying to relax. Like this coronavirus stuff is actually starting to give me a headache, somewhat. So uh, yeah, so Trump's still having some problems here. Um, but I mean, it's basically probably going to be 50-50 until Trump can reopen, uh, really, America and really the rest of the world as well. And there's a lot of chatter going on that uh, we're overreacting to this, which is actually kind of difficult because... Yeah, let's see, 49 votes. Hmm. So, shut up a bitch. All right, uh... Johnson Chen overreacting. I hope I spelled overreacting correctly. So we might be overreacting, and it's getting to the point where it's actually going to tank the economy and turn into a Great Depression. And all sorts of other bad stuff happens. You know, violence, suicides, everyone just, you know, whatever. I also don't know why this thing is trending. Because I don't see anybody bashing Trump here, so it's not that. Oh, wow. That actually seems weird. Well, maybe it is a Trump thing. But uh, but now I'm beginning to think, are they doing it on purpose to deliberately screw over Donald Trump? Because if so, it's definitely working. Right? So that, that's kind of like the thinking. I still have a poll running, too. I'm actually kind of very surprised... But how a lot of people say it's actually a little too much or it's way too much. So I find that really uh, interesting. I've been aggressively pushing this poll, too, because I really want to know. All right. So I didn't even bother doing any uh, pre-research or anything. So let's just see what the hell is going on. Bitcoin searches for last week is still pegged around 20. Oh, yeah. I kind of also want to hurry it up, too, because they're playing the Age of Empires. King uh, official Twitch. They're playing the Age of Empires. Um, oh yeah, and then there's your e-thoughts here. Sleepover stream tonight. She's actually married, but she lied to people. All right, I really hate this stupid ad. Oh yeah, what I find out knowing about these ads is, well, I'm glad I have a safe space as a, to be who I am as an LGBT community. Well, that must be pretty nice because us Christians and conservatives fucking can't do that. You know, so. Uh, let's see. I'm waiting for that stupid ad to finish. Bitcoin dominance is at 65.1%. 24 hour rounds at 128.8 million, uh, billion market cap. So it's actually pretty low. And it looks like the markets are not doing any better. Yeah, so this guy's got like a ton of viewers, like a little under 30. Sometimes it goes up to like 40, 50K. And right now I have it on, you know, low quality. But yeah, I don't, I don't want it to kill my bandwidth. Even though I have plenty, the problem is. It always like has that stupid. It's like a stupid that to constantly clear the cache. It's like a Windows problem. But yeah, anyway, uh, this is the game I bought twenty bucks. This game is like 18, 20 years old, and it outlived StarCraft. That's the hilarious part. <laughs> That's gonna definitely be something I'm gonna have to be thinking about. But yeah, I definitely want to watch this. This is like the prize pool for number one is like fifty grand or something. So uh, yeah. All right, so enough of that, because I need to, because I, I want to watch that. I haven't even been watching Force, and that's the that's the nutty part. Because I rather watch uh, Age of Empires. Airlines vow to end dividends and stock buybacks if Congress passes the virus 
uh, bailout. Uh, see, they vow, and then they'll turn around and do it. So that's just not going to work. Like, yeah. SBA cuts red tape to boost small business amid coronavirus. So it's good. Companies are stepping up to ease um, <clears throat> coronavirus hardships. I actually am interested in knowing that. Yeah, because despite how bad things are, everyone's actually stepping up in one form or another. I mean, it's kind of annoying that the billionaires aren't really doing shit, but, you know. Uh, let's see. But then again, they must be taking a lot of damage from this too, because ultimately they're not going to be making much. The one exception of that would definitely be um, Amazon. So Jeff Bezos is, but you know, he's already, uh, but he kind of knows that if he doesn't do what he's supposed to do with Amazon, which is ship everybody's shit, that he's not going to be fine for much longer either. Like none of us will. Um, let's see. Uh, so they're increasing everyone's pay by two dollars of where their native currency is uh, for whatever country, and they're hiring an additional hundred thousand people throughout the world, I assume. Uh, Amazon Web Services to accelerate uh, COVID nineteen diagnostics and blah 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 blah. Yeah, Amazon's web services are actually really good, but it's also incredibly um, complicated. Like, I don't even understand their sh the shit on their site. It's basically designed for, like, experienced programmers. Apple, uh, let's see, he announced on tour that his company is making a substantial donation into medic supplies to Italy, first heart responders, da 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 da. All right. Funny enough, you did his... Well, Italy is a hot spot, but... You know, what about America, you know? Let's see, Dunkin' Donuts. Mm. Okay, they're doing food. Facebook is matching 20 million. And they also have a 100 million grant to help small businesses around the world. Impacted by coronavirus. Da, 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 da. Okay, then you got, oh yeah, so GM is actually producing the actual ventilators, I think. Uh, yes, okay, and then Google, uh, up to five million, yeah, like, these ass, these fucking billionaire assholes are, like, matching very little. That's kind of why I find a little annoying. But yeah, I also know military girls also happen to be pretty hot. Uh, as reported by Robert J.P. Morgan Chase, we'll give frontline employees a one-time bonus of blah, 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 blah. Okay, so at least they're paying their people. MLB is giving money to their workers, stadium workers. That's actually really cool of them. And I think NBA is also doing something similar, too. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, so NBA players. Okay. Okay, so the NBA players are donating their shit to the employees, but not the NBA. Well, I guess... Actually, yeah, the NBA is like the MLB. They should be fucking helping out with people's salaries, too. Netflix has established a $100 million fund for assisting the TV industry. Uh, so that's pretty nice of them. Nike. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. TikTok. Like 3 million former... Uh, okay, so help me out Arnold Schwarzenegger's All Stars charity. Yeah, he has been pushing this too. Uh, and they'll feed families whose food security was affected by public schools going down. Uh, because they not not because not everybody ha is like New York City where we're giving free food to the kids through the school system. So and they kind of just and we just do that anyway because you know if we don't do that then the food rots. So people starve and we waste food. So they just give it away. Uh, okay, Verizon, um, uh, students are so tripling, data allowance for Verizon, everything, living, yeah, I have noticed that my internet lag is starting to get kind of nutty. Okay, so that's actually pretty good. So yeah, people are stepping up, obviously the billionaire, and of course, where's Michael Bloomberg? He hasn't said or done shit. Where's uh, Bill Gates or Microsoft? They haven't done shit. Right, so yeah, I find, so it is, okay, it, uh, the virtue signaling does get annoying. But what are you gonna do? Uh, One point two billion for sale versus nine twenty three billion for bu million for buying. All right, so GMC's at five to six, so this shit's gonna be in chaos for quite some time. Four hundred four is pretty steady at six to seven. Uh, not too much here. I also had a, a sell order at six, 
So yeah, so that went pretty fast. Uh, two by two coin, fifty-eight to sixty. I mean, the supply is now four point one million on two by two, so it's kind of um, so you know eventually it's going to start going down a bit. Um, compound coin uh, is fifty-two sixty-two to sixty-five hundred, so it's uh, yeah, not too bad, not too bad uh, for Satoshi's. Of a dog coin for compound coin. I just realized I'm trying to convince Mitch that when we do a swap for 404 coins, I want him to use as li I want I want the swap to be as extreme as possible. We want to destroy pretty much 99.99%. .99%. Like if we can get the supply down to like 10,000, that's what we want. What we don't want is 1 million coins because I think that's what two by two started when we did the partnership. So and already it's now up to 4.1 million supply. So it's already quadrupled and a little more than that in i don't know how many months like two three four months so you know the smaller the supply the better um let's see but i mean we're not even going to be working on it for a while anyway because of fucking coronavirus so all right uh I think I wake up safe haven again. Uh, they should stop saying that because it's clearly not a safe haven again. It's actually going down. Oh yeah, I didn't even go over the prices. So Bitcoin's at six thousand fifty-eight. Yeah, you can tell I'm like already distracted, and I really want to watch the AO AOE two and uh, tournament. Litecoin's at thirty-seven. So yeah, everything's kind of starting to slow down a little bit. Um, Dog coins at two nineteen point one million market cap. So not too bad. Steam is doing okay at 17.18 cents. Everything's still being updated. Even block trades right now put, put everything in maintenance. But they said that they're going to implement Hive coins. So I don't know. It's probably going to have to let them you know, deal with it. Who knows? Um, but I really want to be able to still continue doing dlease.io and stuff. I mean, I'm hoping ideally dlease.io will just simply do both. Uh, and then that, that would be perfect. Uh, Bitcoin is done for fragile, so it's far it's working all right. That is actually true-ish, but I mean it's gonna keep going down because if everything goes down, so will Bitcoin and crypto. So, excuse me. Bitcoins will need months to recover. Yeah. So what? I mean, it's it's this is like a typical day at the office for Bitcoin. So. You know, everyone else in the world has now experienced what it's like to actually be, you know, uh, <laughs> like Bitcoin. X Goldman Sachs, exec Bitcoin likely to surmount 20K within 18 months. That will actually be true if we can get past retarded coronavirus. It's all about coronavirus right now. Uh, don't care. Uh, don't care. Uh... Private bank launched your Bitcoin trading for huge customer base in Italy made lockdown. See, this is what's actually kind of nice, right? You know, physical stuff. Like, see, this is why the boomers are, like, just being, like, you know, wiped out. Because, you know, they're all about just, like, doing physical shit and then just not, you know, keeping up with the times of technology. Meanwhile, this actually is what allows us to all to thrive. So, you know, everything's going online now. So, you know, the boomers lose out, right, unless they get smart and become a grumbler. And then, uh, you know, we'll be fine-ish, right? Because now we'll just do internet stuff. What's funny is um, piece of shit back of America and Wells Fargo had to uh, adhere to the uh, stay-at-home orders. Uh, and that apparently uh, is, applies to India as well. And it turns out that because of that, all of their Indian workforce, which is like 46% of their labor force, don't have laptops so they can't work from home so now those two asshole banks can't do anything <laughs> it's nice because that's what you get for fucking outsourcing excessively you know and working and and just working with people that like will take the lowest possible salary possible you get what you fucking pay for uh you know and those are two piece of shit banks you know bank of america ripped me off right i didn't get a bailout so i just refused to pay their credit cards and then i eventually got the money discharged and they got counted as income but i was still pretty poor at the time so i just wound up not paying any taxes because i was because i mean this was still when uh obama was still in charge right so we didn't have the uh trump tax plan where basically everyone has to pay taxes including poor people oh yeah that's right when i filed my taxes i only paid like nineteen hundred dollars seventeen hundred dollars in taxes because i actually made 
apparently a lot less money in the last year than I initially thought, <laughs> which is fine because, you know, I'm just holding crypto. So, uh, you know, yeah, <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah, I think right now the IRS already has their hands full and they already accepted the tax return. So, I mean, you know, that's fine. And then like, I mean, I don't know what happened this year, depending on how quickly we recover from coronavirus. Uh, but that's actually what caused my credit score to drop 53 points. I forgot what it was Equifax or TransUnion. It, it's, it, it's, it's the bigger asshole of the two, uh, credit report, uh, uh, credit agencies. Uh, but you know, I've got a decent amount of savings. Like, you know, I, cause like I'm not, I wasn't retarded like everyone else. You know, I actually had substantial savings and then that's why I'm still standing, you know, relatively stable and everyone else is just like, oh my God, it's the end of the world. I need to raid, you know, Target and the grocery store for fucking everything. Um, so, and like, I'm just, I'm just shocked at how little people are willing to do that. Like the main reason why everyone's got problems and living paycheck to paycheck is also because they probably tend to min max their lives as well. Right, it's like I'm not making enough money. Did you spend fifty dollars on a fucking hamburger? Right, you know, like one, like one time, like I had to, you know, help out Mitch, our programmer, with a little bit of money troubles, and then so you know, I sent them like a couple hundred bucks, and then he went to the conference, which is what I mostly paid for, and he went ahead and spent fifty bucks on a fucking hamburger, on a Bitcoin burger. That actually really pissed me off. It's like, dude. You know, I didn't give you like a couple hundred bucks so you could waste 50 of it on a fucking hamburger. Like who the fuck pays 50 bucks for a hamburger unless you're rich? And you know, I, I, I got I got pretty mad about that. So yeah, and he's not the only one that does that shit. Now the good news is he's gotten a lot better with money since then. That's why I like working with people who are malleable and will fucking do as I say, right? Because you know, because what if he wasn't like that, right? It was like, okay, well, you know, you're not going to get any more help from me, even though I need the programming. It's like, okay, but then the projects here will fucking die. It's like, you know, but luckily Mitch is not retarded. So, you know, he's just like, I guess, I'm guessing he just didn't have any good teachers in his life. So now I have to pick up the slack for it, uh, which is fine because to be honest, I think the best way is just to simply me, just simply teach people shit. All right. So. That's why I get really annoyed when you can't follow simple directions. You know, it's like, don't bother me about this. Don't say this shit. It's like, we've been, I told you this already. You know, I've repeatedly told you, blah, blah, blah. And I get really fucking mad. It's like, you know, it's like, just stop wasting my fucking time. Right. And stop worrying so much. Then, then, then it just starts. It's like, you know, it's like everybody just acts like a woman, you know, both men and women. And it's just, it's just so annoying. It's just so annoying. Uh, blah, 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 okay, so there's no, not, nothing really, no, I mean, we don't really care because it's just coronavirus. Oh, we do probably need some kind of thing. Uh, coronavirus, uh, working very well at Stacey Station, sorry, good, uh, FedEx for rapid emergency deliveries, you're making, okay, uh, for, oh yeah, that's right, uh, I bet UPS and FedEx, uh, are all, like, going crazy by just trying to keep up with all the shit, uh, shipment orders. Uh, March 20th, this was two days ago, uh, Leader McConnell, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I appreciate it. The latest coronavirus bill that you unveiled today would, among other things, provide direct payments of up to $1,200 to those earning up to $75,000 a year. Why did you decide on direct payments as opposed to sending that to businesses to use for their employees so they could stay open and maintain payroll? We're doing both. Uh, we're, we're going to both provide direct assistance to individuals and to small businesses uh, so they can stay open. I mean, this is a government imposed shutdown, if you will, uh, to deal with this uh, pandemic. And so the idea is to act quickly, to send cash directly to both individuals and to small businesses. Leader McConnell, thank you so much. So I've noticed that Every, even though everyone doesn't like Trump, they're specifically not attacking this bill too much. They specifically are ignoring the part where everyone has to qualify for income. And I've noticed that all the mainstream cable fake news terrorist outlets are deliberately ignoring that part. And that's how I know that it's all bullshit. Because all the lobbyists are trying to steal all the money. They try to scam you and me out of our fucking Trump bucks. 
Uh, now, the good news is Josh Harley, Hawley, and I think a couple of other uh, Republicans bring up this thing, along with actual other Democrats, too. Uh, but um, I don't know. Like, we're still trying to find out, like, what's going on with it. Because they're going to vote on it tomorrow. Uh, that's three days ago. Okay, so let's see. All news, recent. Uh, let's do past 24 hours. I've noticed that Google is not giving me the more up-to-date stuff. It's really hard. Uh, okay, shut the fuck up, Barons. You're just retarded. Congress closed on coronavirus. Okay, so here we go. We got this. Because uh, we want the one... Because they're uh, they're talking about it ongoing right now. Um, Hubble Diaries tax agency may need months to put cash into Americans' hands. Uh, what? Uh, what? I don't know. IRS was able. The IRS in New York State took my money pretty fucking fast. So I mean, just send it back out. It's it's like everyone just wants to be a greedy piece of shit. All right. It's like, oh, why? Why is everyone commit suicide? Why is our economy going into the Great Depression? Ugh. So annoying. Oh my god. Uh, all right. Let's see. Did someone archive? Archive.follow this page. Oh, yeah, this site's been. Oh, wow. It's actually up to number one in Q. Um, all right, because we really need to read this article. All right. In the meantime, I guess we could try reading the shitty one, uh, shitty version of this. Okay. Uh, X. All right. There we go. Steve, uh, let's see. Congress closed on a coronavirus stimulus deal. Student, I really don't want to use him as a thumbnail. He's not. A, he's not very photogenic. Student, small business loans, cash payment, unemployment insurance in the package. Yeah. So Democrats are really hung up on the whole unemployment insurance thing. At this point, I don't really care. Just get everybody fucking money. All right. I've already accepted that I'm not going to get a single dime, uh, even though I should definitely qualify for it, but. You know, I think a lot of my family members won't either. So, I mean, it's really kind of bullshit. But, I mean, they've been working on it, so it's probably different. <coughs> I mean, I'm actually mostly fine, so it's just the residual cough effects. Treasury Secretary Mnuchin on Sunday said administration of Congress are close to master stimulus deal to rescue... Well, uh, I think we have a fundamental understanding. I look forward to wrapping it up today, Mnuchin. Okay. So we're going to be injecting two trillion into the American economy. Very good. We include small business retention loans. The firms will get two weeks of cash flow to, play, to pay and retain employees. So the economy is up and running when the virus is defeated. If you do that, those loans will be for. If you do that, those loans will be forgiven. Holy shit! Uh, they are literally giving small businesses to, uh, enough money to operate for two weeks, and it's just free money. That's what it means to be forgiven. The plan also calls for direct payments to Americans. The average family of four would get a direct deposit of 3 k as a bridge for them to get through this quickly. And, of course, it enhances unemployment insurance. Uh, we need, <clears throat> the details are in the... Uh, the details are... The devil is in the details. I was going to say the details are in the devil. <laughs> I guess technically that's true, too. Because I want to know, is this unconditional 3000 for a family of four? Like, am I going to get my Trump bucks regardless? Or are they going to do that stupid F-word bullshit where, you know, it's like, well, if you made, you know, more than a hundred grand in 2018, then you're not getting anything. Because that really pisses me off. There it has to say, play insurance for people who would have been laid off due to the da da And finally, the plan calls on a Fed reserve to offer four trillion liquidity to properly cut through broad lending programs yeah the banks better lend their fucking money this time around because in 2008 2009 they didn't do that everybody just did stock buybacks and hoarded cash uh and i remember obama complained about it but i don't know if he did anything about it and that's why the thing was just so retarded and of course everyone just thought obama was like the greatest thing since fucking sliced bread you know and it was just really annoying I think we are injecting a lot of liquidity in the system. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we are flooding that block, that money for sure. How are Americans know that the president wants to protect them? Uh, there's $100 billion to support hospitals on the front lines. Yes. Um, it was blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Wuhan, China virus. Oh, yeah, China's being a real prick about it. They're actually now starting to put out fake news terrorism saying, 
uh, the virus is basically God, and that if we get more cases, it's coming from the outside world, even though they caused it. And they said they're now trying to blame Italy for the coronavirus instead of themselves. Because they tried it with America, and that obviously didn't work. So, you know, it's, it's like the thing I hate about that is it's going to make Italians not like really despise Chinese people. And one of what's going to happen when I try to pick, uh, you know, pick up a hot Italian babe for my wife, you know, she, she's going to run into problems. Right. Well, first, I have to convince her that I'm not going to give her coronavirus. And number two, even if I did do that, I have to now convince her family that, you know, us Chinese people are not out to get them, you know. So, you know, it's like the fucking Communist Party of China. It's like, normally I wouldn't, like, bash, you know, commie Chinese party, but, you know, they're really acting in, like, a very belligerent, bad karma way. And the fact that, you know, I'm not making my game, you know, they have a basically a formal or close to formal law that says... Yeah, just go exploit everyone's video games and steal all their shit. So, like, it's going to be a problem for me because they're going to, like, hack and spam and drain all their resources and bypass the ad block on my website for my video games and then just basically just loot my shit. It's like, I'm going to get really angry about that. You know, see, see, bat, see, I'm lucky for them. I'm not white, so you can't push me around like you can white people, right? You know, the problem with white people actually is they're too nice. So that, like, eventually they just get so angry that passive aggression comes in. And then they just, you know, overcompensate and just say too many racist things in retaliation. Or they pick up a gun and just go on a mass shooting spree. It's like, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be more center-right and just, like, call it out and shit. It's like, you know, it's like, yeah. Oh, also, like, you shouldn't be saying racist words uh, as well. Uh, but... You know, uh, unfortunately, the, the white people are just dealing with too much shit. So, you know, it's, it's up to us, you know, good non-whites to, like, you know, to, to deal with the fucking belligerence of the world. Uh, coronavirus was discovered in Wuhan, China in December. It's infected over 300,000 people worldwide, resulting in over 13,000 deaths. The U.S. has seen nearly 27,000 infections and about... 350 deaths prompting governors to place severe limits on cars so that people stay apart of blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the end of the article. Those limits have led to the last massive layoffs and fears that many businesses will not survive the crisis if the fight against the virus hasn't been won 10 weeks from now. 10 weeks from now? So that's two and a half months. So that's basically right into pretty much going into the summer. I think we're injecting a lot and heart. Oh, okay. So they're repeating themselves here. Please read our comment policy. Uh, where are the comments? Of course, there are no comments. Oh, that's the other thing, too. My landlord's a uh, le uh, cheap asshole. Like, the heat only came on sometime last night, even though it was freezing in the apartment. Uh, it wasn't that bad, but it's still kind of annoying. Oh, well, I guess we don't need that anymore. All right, so I guess from what this is, um, all right, so unemployment's going to be good. So people who are getting laid off and doing jobless claims are covered. Uh, businesses are getting forgivable loans. That's the really important thing, and they'll be able, they'll be able to keep, keep or stay open for two weeks, so that's good. Uh, and then the direct cash payment stuff, I mean... <clears throat> Let's see. Well, it doesn't sound anything like the $1,200 and then the requirements. So I think they finally got rid of that. And I know Donald Trump and Mnuchin were, were very much trying to push for this. Like, like it's Trump especially, because he knows that this is what's happening, right? Right here. He knows that if he fucks this up, it's over. You know, he's not in. In fact, I was reading an article either probably two nights ago now, I think. It was not, yeah, two nights ago. When I was at the, was getting a little headache from reading all this coronavirus shit, <clears throat> uh, the New York Daily News or the New York Post was one of them. They said they interviewed an anonymous GOP operative that said, uh, "It definitely sounds like somebody that I would know. Like it's not quite Mike Cernovich, but maybe it might be or somebody related." They didn't mention the person's name. He said, "Donald Trump's re Donald Trump is not running against Joe Biden. He is running against coronavirus. If he fucks up this stimulus plan and he knows it." I mean, I'm paraphrasing it a little bit. Then he knows he's getting kicked. He's not gonna. He's gonna get kicked out of the White House. So Trump is, you know, really motivated. He 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 he's really on top of things. 
Uh, Chinese virus fact check. Yeah, see, this is actually why it's important. To, I mean, I really don't like because this tech. I mean, I think for now, I think people kind of understand. I still am getting like some racist fucking assholes on my Twitter, but they tend to be boomers, of course. And number two, they also tend to be establishment types, and they're I very much get the botting like bots, uh, like GOP bots uh, vibe from it. But uh, it still pisses me off, nonetheless. But on the other hand, we kind of have to hit back against the commies. So, you know, uh, I was kind of—I mean, I was kind of hoping that one day this day would not actually come. But I, I, I guess honest Chinese people uh, are going to have to just go after the fucking uh, the CCP, right? You know, because I actually don't like the term Chi comms because I actually consider that racist too. So. Because, uh, again, everyone's just retarded, or at least some people are, and then they just assume all Chinese people are commies. It's like, come on, man. It's like, you know, that's like the boomer shit from the 60s, 70s. Uh, but, you know, what are you going to do, right? And then now I'm just getting annoyed because, again, you know, they're blaming Italians and white people for the fucking coronavirus. It's like, come on. It's like, what is your problem, man? It's like, yeah. But uh, when this is all over, there definitely has to because, like, I know what China is doing. They're trying to deflect the blame because they know that the retaliation against China is going to be extreme. So, uh, and, you know, uh, we can't let them get away with that, you know. And it's unfortunate, too, because China was so good on morality, right? They actually put you in jail for spreading pornography. Uh, they clamped down on e thoughtery you know. Uh, I don't know. I haven't heard much about, like, you know, gay issues and transgender issues i know they allow people to protest for that stuff but i'm pretty sure if it ever got a little too much uh they would just put them all in jail and just and just go like russia mode and just ban that shit a couple actually they'll probably be more hardcore than russia and just start putting everybody in jail uh and just make it the equivalent of like uh it's just illegal to talk about it uh kind of thing uh what, uh okay all right uh all right so it's 11 08 i need to oh man i let this ad run for too long yep i lost uh i lost my bit heroes all right so if you like what you saw at red or heard hit the like button the follow button or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from or on my youtubes at youtube.com forward slash why the hell is it doing this yeah there we go uh forward slash jmc radio I really hate that the URL system on YouTube is so convoluted. Uh, make sure you smash that subscribe on the right hand side of this page, and I'll try to grow this channel. Uh, thanks. And of course, nothing new on my bit shoot, but I still upload there. Um, let's see. Uh, all right, you know what? I'm just going to use this. Uh, yeah, we'll try it. We'll. Try, uh, but what's interesting is his wife is like crazy hot, but that's because he's also very good at money, so, you know. Because I'm pretty sure he's actually a real alpha male. It's just that in public, it's just, just, uh, jeez. Anyway, uh, wow, yeah, look at this poll. All right, 55 votes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's a lot. Anyway, um, for the most part, looks like things are going down a little bit, so... I would say we're all just waiting on the stimulus package, but the good news is the stimulus package looks pretty good now. So the so the only real problem is actually how long is the lockdown going to last? Because as you can see from my poll and people on Twitter, like Mike Sternrich, Adam Scrabble, and a few others, uh, in fact, a dissident right website that I can I can't even hint at its name anymore, even is now calling up the same question. Are we, do, are we doing too much lockdown to the point where we're deliberately crashing like the world economy and creating a Great Depression? Not the Great Recession of 2008, but the actual Great Depression of 19, what is it, 32, the 29 or whatever, right? No, 29 was when everything crashed. Uh, that's actually a serious question because I still cannot get shit. I went to um, Walgreens or whatever, right, uh, just to see like just how bad the empty shelves are it's a little better than the last time i saw it but it's still kind of crowded uh everything was empty but i was able to get a, a roll of one dollar paper towels and there was actually a nice stack of it it's like I, my instinct was to just buy two or three and i just realized you know what i'm supposed to just only take one i better not hoard that's what even the secretary of labor uh, the, the, the nice old guy i forgot his name he says don't hoard leave be nice to your neighbors like oh yeah let me do that so i took one and then again you know it's like the second third time when i went to up to the clerk 
Next to me was an old couple that was hoarding shit, and it's like I was just getting so pissed. It's like you know these these fucking boomers are literally just hoarding everything. It's like you fucking selfish assholes. There's a reason why we we all hate you, you know. Not all, but like you know most, because you keep doing this shit. You know, it's like it's like you tell you tell everyone, ha ha ha, pull yourself up by the bootstraps. You're not getting a handout, and 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 then you you yourself you just hoard everything. It's like you, you fucking selfish asshole. So. Yeah, so the clerk that was servicing me yelled at them. Well, not yelled at them, but like shaming them. And then I kind of did a partial shame too by saying, yeah, I mean, I knew that too. It's like, that's why I only have one. It's like, yeah, I save for other people, man. I'm like, what's your problem? <laughs> I didn't say what's your problem. I wasn't that aggressive because you know, I understand that they're old and they're scared. But it's just so annoying, man. It's so annoying. And that's why when I go to anywhere, it's like there's no fucking food. At first, I thought... You know, Target and other places are opening up their stores to, like, allow elderly people to buy, like, an hour early. And now I realize that's actually a shitty rule because all what, what do the old people do? They fucking steal everything. And then what, the rest of us that come in, there's nothing on the shelves. You know, it's, like, very annoying. But the good news is I, uh, all the stores I'm going to, the exception is Target for now, they're actually limiting how much you can buy, which is good. You should be limiting what you, uh, you can buy, right? So... I don't know. It's like, how long is this shutdown going to last? Coronavirus NYC shutdown. Traffic and pollution plummet. Well, at least uh, there's the, you don't have to worry about global warming, right? The global warming hoax for a while. Uh, it says lockdowns aren't enough. Yeah, so the WHO is actually in the pocket of China, and apparently China... Yeah, I'm beginning to wonder, is it is China actually trying to actually uh, short and basically uh, bankrupt the world? That might be an interesting thing. Uh, Fed's Bullard, coronavirus shutdowns our recession, but investment in survival. That's true. Uh, 21,000. Uh, New York State bodegas will remain open during, well, yeah, because they're food. Uh, 1803 new, uh, this was 23 hours ago. How New York City shut down city life as it became Emperor Center. That's a day ago. New York on positive corona in uh, mandatory shutdown. This is a, from a day ago. Actually, you know what? Let's just take a look. Oh, yeah. So we've been making a lot of progress uh, here as well. We're getting masks. We're getting tons of shit. I retweeted it already. To nationalize the medical supply chain, should be released the defense community. Maybe currently states are competing against other states for supplies. Oof. Yeah, that's rough. Holy briefing with the community. Uh, close caption. Yeah, Trump's been pretty resistant to this, but that's because we don't want to nationalize this. Because we, because you know what's happening, right? We're becoming like actual uh, Soviet Union, right? You remember, like everybody had free shit, but it took ten years to get anything, like. That's why we don't want to be doing this unless we have to. Uh, but we're, you know, we're caving. Uh, you plan on visiting a state park. You should remain solitary for recreation. So we're still a lot of people to go out because yeah, I, mean, I most people are not me. Most people really need to go out. I love being indoors. That's why I spend ninety nine point nine percent of my time basically like, basically being like Mike Surridge and just be on the computer all day. It's actually why he's like. You know, uh, tweeting shit all the time. Like, uh, hip, uh, you know, Twitter to him is vi what video games is to me. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's just uh, it's kind of interesting how that works. Um, uh, okay, that's true. Show compassion. See, Cuomo is actually leading, and unlike Bill de Blasio, he's literally just acting like a woman and just complaining and blaming everybody. It's like just whining. It's like, we're we're in danger. We're going to die. Please help us. That's literally what his fucking Twitter is. And, and of course, he does political shit. It's like, it's so annoying. And is really a big reason why, A, we need to restore men in America. And number two, we really should start controlling uh, immigration. You know, because New York City is mostly non-white. And this is the result we get. We get a whiny complaining a uh, woman man child for a mayor it's like you know you shouldn't be leading you know cuomo even though he's a liberal dude you know he understands you know i gotta be, i step up and be a real fucking man or we're all or we will actually all die right so 
you know. So that's why I'm not giving any shit at all to Quo because he's doing exactly what he should be. There's a reason why he's working very well with Donald Trump directly. So even though they obviously had massive political differences, and that's what you should do as a fucking political leader, especially at minimum during a time of crisis. There's one time you have to lead and not be a fucking retard, prick, emotionally unstable asshole. It's during an actual crisis. 9-11, the 2008 uh, real estate crash, the coronavirus crisis of 2020. I wonder what they'll call it when this is all over, right? Uh, you know, if they really want to go hardcore, they might call it the China virus uh, crisis of 2020. That'll really piss off China. But, uh, I mean, at this point, I'm actually starting to think China might actually be behind uh, this uh, calls for shutdown shit. Uh, let's see, gratitude for everybody, you know, cops, firefighters, grocers, pharmacists, truck drivers, public, you know, all this stuff. Very, very nice. 55% uh, of New York State cases, uh, coronavirus cases, can infect 18 to 49. You're not invincible, and you also infect older people, too, so it's actually dangerous. So uh, we're getting 1 million N95 masks, the good ones, to New York City and 500,000 of them. <clears throat> oh, we're actually sending an additional 500,000 of these masks to Long Island. And we're pur purchasing an additional 6,000 ventilators. Uh, and then the Army Corps of Engineers, here we go. we got the Jacob Javits Center and, of course, my old stomping ground, SUNY Stony Brook. They do have a really kick-ass medical facility, so that's probably what, and a good medical program. Study book is good for medical program and computer programming, so that's probably why. It also makes sense too, because because there's a lot of computer programmers that could probably use it also as like a, a data lab too to help with the vaccines and testing and shit too. So it's actually a really good site. Uh, but yeah, the fact that now Cuomo is now saying this is kind of. Uh, uh shit that probably means we're the situation is starting to get more dire uh so yeah well let's hope it uh let's hope it works out all right so anyway uh there's our thumbnail i'll see you all in tomorrow's video i know this went on up longer than it should have but you know it's coronavirus so anyway i'll see you uh in tomorrow's video when the real when the real shit starts to happen because the, mar the market's reopen uh judson chan JMC coin, 404 coin. Uh, all eyes are on this direct stimulus plan and the markets tomorrow. And quite frankly, uh, the shutdown is going to be a real problem. It's going to start becoming a real problem. But we can't open up New York City. I know a lot of people want the shutdown to go away. But like, I barely go out and I already caught the common cold. That's how contagious all this shit is. And coronavirus is actually more contagious than that. right? And I have a compromised immune system. I could actually die from coronavirus. Right. Because, again, uh, you know, I'm still trying to lose my weight, but I still have an inflammation problem. That's exactly what's the problem here. Now, they'll pro now it's New York City, so I'll probably get good priority health care and a ventilator. But it's like even with that, like, <laughs> you know, because like whenever I have a really bad anaphylactic shock, that's what actually is happening when you get coronavirus like the those those cases where you're going to die from it you know mine gets progressively worse as i get older because i'm getting older so uh yeah i mean what are you gonna do right it's like yeah i know it's gonna cause a great depression but i don't want to fucking die from coronavirus it's like you, you're not gonna convince me of this shit so i don't know but we're getting better testing we're up to like a million a day now or something we've got private testing kits so we should i'm hoping this will only last another two weeks instead of three to four weeks. And then, you know, we'll, we'll reopen shit. Uh, schools are closed until April 20th, uh, 420 day or, so, or April 19th. I just do 420 day. So I think, I think ideally we can reopen New York City partially somewhere around the first week of April or towards the end of the first week of April. And then, so like April 6th, 7th or whatever. And then after that, if things still continue to be okay, then we can reopen everything else like as planned, and then we can start jump starting everything back up. So, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna start looking into if China is actually starting to actually deliberately over push shutdowns to cause a Great Depression, because China China is apparently is already pretty stable now, but they still they want to start you know looting everywhere uh you know so uh they're starting to act very much like the country in the middle east that cannot be named and cannot be criticized 
Uh, and I don't like that because if China, if communist China like succeeds in doing that, the karma, the the karma is basically we're all going to get wiped out. There will be no more Chinese people after this is over. And I don't like that because that puts my life in danger. <laughs> so, uh, uh, and other Asians in general. So I, I, I don't, I don't want that. So let's, uh, let's try to stop evil people before they, uh, you know, do, do real hard damage.